Hi, I'm Ben Powers, Step Risk Consultant and Quality Manager at Monroe Instruments. And again, I'm going to walk you through the basics of a pendulum slip test. This is the pendulum slip tester. Uh, this is a Monroe model. It's got the intelligent pendulum add-on, um, but I won't be using that today. Um, this particular device is calibrated. It's got a UCAS calibration plate on there. Um, at the moment, we are the only UCAS accredited lab for pendulum calibration. The pendulum test itself is a very basic premise, um, but it's very tightly controlled, very repeatable, and crucially, the data that it produced can be assessed against HSE statistics to determine the real risk of someone slipping on a surface. So the way the machine works is this foot here swings down, strikes the surface for a set distance, and depending on the resistance of that surface, it will push a needle up the scale here to give a reading. This accurately models the real interaction that a pedestrian heel would have with the floor surface in a slip condition. Um, the heel would slide along the surface, and in doing so, where there's a lubricating film, um, it would compress that lubricating film underneath the heel, um, which would serve to lift the heel off the surface, uh, and that's when you get your, your loss of grip. So that's the, the crucial um, interaction that this device models. I mentioned the machine is calibrated, so it's calibrated annually. Um, if we were to come out on site, we would then verify the machine. So we would test three surfaces of known slip resistance. And if the machine produced values that were expected for those surfaces, we could then proceed to do the testing. Uh, we could be confident that the testing that we're doing is going to produce reliable numbers. Once the machine is set up on the test surface, the, the floor that we want to investigate, there's a further check. Um, we would check the zeros before and after every set of measurements to make sure nothing's changed during the, the measurement. So it's a very simple premise, but there are very tight controls and that's what helps to make it one of the best slip testing methods because of the, the verification, the calibration, the checks at every, at every stage. The foot has got a very tightly controlled rubber slider mounted on it. This one's a, a 96 slider. Um, it's meant to model shod pedestrians. You can get a softer 55 slider for barefoot environments. This is prepared in a very particular way because you have to have a consistent, smooth surface on the edge of this slider because you're measuring the floor. If you've got a rough slider, you're no longer measuring the floor, you're measuring the floor and the slider. You've got to have that smooth, consistent finish on the slider in order to test the, the one thing that's changing, the floor. So this, this machine's already set up for a given contact patch. Foot swings down, it will strike the surface for that given contact patch. Got to set engage to make sure it is the same every time. And then depending on the resistance, it's going to push this needle further up the scale. This is just a float glass plate, but it's similar to any sort of polished natural stone finish. In dry conditions, getting values of 102. Um, the HSE say anything 36 or above is a low risk of slip. So in the dry surface like this, perfectly acceptable. We add some water to the surface. You can see straight away that value has dropped right down to eight. Um, and that's because of the, the interaction between the slider and the floor is generating that squeeze film, film. So you're no longer contacting the floor, you're actually sliding along on top of the high pressure fluid film. The slip testing standards are um, changing at the moment. Um, a new European standard has come out um, that slightly changes the way the test is done and there are new UK slip group guidelines expected in sort of October-ish um, that will have a, a minor effect on the way that the test is conducted but essentially it will be that same process, that same interaction that makes this test so useful in determining the risk of someone slipping over. At Monroe, we use this test regularly. Um, we use it for testing of 
um, samples in the lab um, that people aren't sure whether or not they want to install. Uh, we use it on site for risk assessment and we use it for personal injury accident claims. Um, but we can also provide the pendulum to people who want to do their own testing and we can support uh, pendulum operators with a uh, repair, service, calibration um, and training as well. So if you've got any queries pendulum related, please feel free to get in touch.